All right, so there we go. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Team here, and this is BXJS Dev live stream. And I once again forgot to put the chat over here, so let me just do that real quick. Um, that did not work out. Come on, Windows. I know you can do this. What? Ah, there we go. Now it works. All right. Um, so I want to finish building the BXJS website, or at least some parts of it. I mean, we're nearly there. There's like a few uh, minor things left to finish. But you know, um, uh, basically, the idea is to actually first, I want to go and update the stuff that I did last time, because I like, I don't know what I was thinking. I created a component called episode, but that's not what it actually does. It renders the episode section, right, which results in, um, okay, wait, wait a second. So let me just, do I have any node running? No, okay, so I can do yarn start here. And then um, create another terminal so we can work with and then forward the ports. Do I have any? No, it is forwarded. Okay, so I don't need to forward anything yet. And just switch here. So um, to the day, let me think new window is what I want. Move it over here. Localhost 8000. There we go. So the problem now is that um, the way it renders the episode is like this, right? So we actually get the section with the title with the date, which is not exactly correct. So the date is related to the episode. And this is, this is actually should be called episode section, right? So the, and um, yeah, so this should be called episode section. And I also should rename this thing to episode section. So once we do that, this is episodes, and we also want the index page, in our case, episode section. In our case, we actually don't need episode section over here. So this is gonna, um, what do you, there we go. So this renders correctly now. Now we need to create a new episode component, right? Which will actually render the episode, not section. And in this case is gonna be episode. And uh, right, so we're gonna leave the date and we are gonna, we don't need that because we're gonna render the sections we are going to have the episode name, we're going to have the date and we're going to have the groups which we will render with our episode sections, right? So this is the template. And this is exactly how it should look. So I actually need to copy all of that and throw it in here. Uh, so we're going to take the class and throw it here. This is exactly what we want, we're going to have a date and then we're going to have a group section. Uh, sorry, the episode section that we're going to import episode section from episode section. There we go. I don't know what I was thinking last time when I coded that, but <laughs> we got to fix that. Uh, hey, Marcus, welcome to the stream. All right. Um, so we got the episode rendering, right? So now we need to import. Uh, no, what am I doing? I need to import episode. Uh, episode then that sounds German. No, thank you. Uh, episode here. And then we go. Okay, I got episode, right? We get name, which is going to be episode name. Uh, date. Do we have a date? Where did I take the date last time? Wait a second. Uh, oh, the date. I think the date was coming. God damn it. Uh, hey, Donna, welcome to the stream. Where was my history? There we go. So the date is this. So we actually just need it once, right? Episode, de uh, no, episode, come on. So this is what we want. Uh, groups, I guess, yeah, the same. So we take groups, ages, nodes. So we, I guess we can rewrite that a bit to be our first entry, right? So this is gonna be this thing. And then instead of doing that, we can just deconstruct it. First entry, there we go a lot nicer. So we no longer need that. So we say episode name, and then we get episode uh, what, what am I what is wrong with me typing today episode date, and then we got groups, which is groups, right? There we go. Okay, so we got that stuff. Uh, now we need to so this looks okay, right? So we don't need date in episode section. This is something we don't care about. And which means we can update the episode section as well. So we don't care about the date. This should not be here. Uh, right, I don't Yeah. So basically, because we are doing that, I don't really need the whole div wrapping here. So I can just do that, right? 
I think that should, yeah, this looks, I mean, okay. <laughs> this does not look good, so I need that div. We don't have that div here, right? Yeah, we don't have that div here. So I just need item center. Um, I don't have the same setup here, so why is it? Okay, you know what, we can kill it from here, so we definitely don't need it here. The question is why doesn't it correctly center it over here, basically? Why does it happen? So we got its flex. Oh, I guess because I got the, um, yeah, right, okay. So th this should not be here because it is padded too much, and there we go. Okay, and we need padding left, like just some padding to the date, so it's a bit more nicely formatted. Okay, that looks a lot better. And actually it looks like a proper episode rendering now, but now the index page is broken. So what do we need to do here? Uh, episode date, links, all ah, right, we need to say, groups is gonna be groups, right? And in our case, groups are what? Uh, I think groups are links basically, right? Hey Ron, welcome to the stream. Material design. No, it's not really a material design. And thank you for your cheering. Um, so this is not material design. This is actually the uh, tailwind, which is pretty nice. Okay, let me think, what am I doing wrong here? So the groups is all link groups. Uh, oh, right, because I group them by category. Ah, oh, boy, okay, so we actually have to group it somehow, or I can just leave it rendered as is. Um, right, so let me just rewrite this latest episodes like this. Now we do need to change the links into groups by grouping them together. Um, why am I not having, yes, import GraphQL from Gatsby. This is what I want. So here's the query. Can I just, no, I can't group them because we are sorting by the episode, right? So Kat, could you be a bit more gracious, please? Uh, okay, let me think for a second. So we need to group it by um, field and field value. So oh, man, I don't want to do it manually. This, this is like mildly annoying. And I, here's the question, can I somehow, like I feel like we should be able to write some query that would essentially do this for us. I couldn't figure it out last time, but maybe try to do this now. So we got this query, right? This just gives us all episodes. Let me maybe zoom in a bit. So this gives us, um, can I, this is not adjustable. Uh, okay, kill explorer for now. So what this does is this gives us all the nodes we have with episodes sorted by the episode date, right? Which in this case, we just basically say, okay, we take the latest one and just consider this to be the last episode we know about. What this doesn't do is it doesn't actually group them, which can I combine grouping and sorting? Is that a thing? So I can group by, um, so we need to group by what? By title, for example, right? In this case, and then edges nodes ID. And let's see episode date name uh, URL. So how does this look? Does it actually sort them? Um, okay, group edges. No, it doesn't seem like it actually sorts anything at least within, yeah, it doesn't sort it, right? So this is a bit annoying which means that we do have to basically do this grouping ourselves, which makes it mildly annoying, but since we only have to do this once for our latest episode, I think that should be okay. Um, is there any other way to do that? Let me think. Not really, right? So we don't, like with the current structure, I mean, we could split the data generation to have uh, links and episodes so that we can query them separately, but I'm not convinced I want to spend time on that basically. It's not that it's hard, it's just I don't know if we need to do that. You know what, let's just group it ourselves because why not? Okay, uh, so we got the links, now we need to do groups and that means, whoops, uh, that is going to be links. So, um, what can we do? How do we do that? So the groups are the things that have edges, right? And uh, if I remember correctly, we actually, where's the select? We actually go group, group field name. Yeah, so links is group edges. So now we just need to split them into different 
um, categories, which means that we need to first get those categories. Um, categories, right? So this is going to be links. Um, how do I, I mean, oh man, should I just pull Lodash and do that with Lodash? Because that sounds like a lot easier approach than, you know, we typically would do. We don't have Lodash yet, right? Yeah, that's just uh, yarn add Lodash because I'm lazy. And so I'm just going to use Lodash to group all of that and map it into like proper things, right? So uh, grouped by, um, we are grouping by episode, right? No, we're grouping by type. Um, da -da 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 -da, let me think. Group by, we are grouping by uh, category, which is node ID, node data URL, name. Okay, this is the name. Oh, man, come on, where's my GraphQL? So we are grouping by category. Okay, so node data uh, group by category. And then we're going to say Lodash. And you, of course, it removed my imports from Lodash. Come on now. Okay. Um, group by right uh, we group links and then we say that we group links by so we get the nodes nodes data category right so this should give us let me just log that group by category so this should give us a link list of categories and yeah there's like a bunch of errors this is not what i care about right now there we go so it is grouped by categories but now we need to uh, map it to the data structure that we have in our episode section that we consume, which is name and links. Uh, did I, I still provide it like name? Okay, with name and links, yeah. So the category name, which is the field value and then edges, which is the links that it has. So, okay, which means that we go, okay, const groups is object keys. So we're gonna get all the keys from group by category. And then we're going to map it into an array of things, right? So this is going to be category, which means that we need to return a new object, which would have um, field value, which is going to be exactly our category. And then I'm going to have edges, which is going to be um, grouped by category from category, right? So we just basically remap it into a different structure. I think think okay so this will result in what exactly i am having troubles thinking today a bit so let's just console log this where's my uh, console log thing so there's going to be an array of arrays we actually want to flatten it so let us use the dot flat and in theory we should get exactly the structure we want there we go Field value edges, cool. And which means that we can now pass these groups to the episode rendering, right? And uh, it should actually work as expected, cool. Um, why is it so freaking big? There we go. Okay, this looks pretty good. Latest episode, episode three. Um, do I want, maybe I just do this, this. Yeah, there we go, this looks okay, I think like, <laughs> Obviously, there's like ton of work to be done design wise, but you know, this looks okay ish, I guess. Right. So let's see. We got this. We got this. Uh, first of all, we don't really need that home button over there, right? Uh, let me think. This is something we don't really care about. So I, I don't even know if we need other links. So we got the latest episode. We got all episodes. You can select the specific episodes. It's about like 80% done. Uh, so we need what we need is search and what we need is a bunch of links to like uh, what, what else did we had on the website so search is one feature and then yeah that's like we have the description we have the title we have the weekly we have the episodes list we have so search is what's missing and then we need those links to the related resources somewhere um, we're gonna think about that maybe footer or something um, yeah, let's, I guess let's do search first. Uh, so let me just commit what I did. Git add, git commit. Um, so create proper component for episode rendering and update uh, index page, right? There we go. Okay, got this. Now, 
um, search component, right? So it's going to be also static. And I think they actually we can make search work better than the current website because uh, the current website is yeah, it basically has some problems. I'm not sure where exactly they're coming from probably uh, mongoose, uh, because yeah, or MongoDB actually itself, because of the way we structured the data there. But we'll see. Uh, hey, uncle, welcome to the stream. Right? So the idea Yeah, so there is search could be better. There's a ticket for that. And there's yeah, like, for example, it doesn't find stuff like scene.js, which is there and if we actually search over here, you will find that uh, well, they know that's an issues why okay, GitHub search is also garbage, but that's, that's a different question. Um, anyway, so here's the idea for search, we don't actually need all of that stuff, right when we're searching. So we basically just need a nice a GraphQL query that gives us all the documents and then we can search on them client side with some sort of a fuzzy search library. So I'm going to create a search component over here, I am going to take uh, yeah, something like this, I guess, rename it to search, we don't really need any parameters in this case. And um, for now, I'm just going to say that this is input type text, placeholder, search, Blip. right? Okay, um, we can probably render it in the header and maybe I'll just go to the tailwind and um, see what kind of header. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe like forms and stuff. I think they had forms. There we go. So there's a nice input bar. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna copy this class and be like super lazy about that. Where's my header? Okay, um, ta -da 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 -dum, class name. That is there's another brackets, there you go. So placeholder is something we already had. And you know what, we can just do that, right? And placeholder is search. Okay, cool. Uh, ID search is also what we want, just in case. Right now we need to add this to header and then tweak the design a bit. Um, come on, uh, search, tweak the design a bit to make it look nice. So I guess we're gonna add it here um, before the uh, kind of okay ish, we could bake it a bit better, I guess later on but um, right, so yeah, okay, there's some some minor things we have to tweak a bit but uh, yeah, let me think. So first of all, first of all, we are gonna move some of those class names let me think so we're gonna move those two over here, right? So this is gonna add padding around it. I think that should be no, that's still that's actually worse. Okay. Uh, but we don't actually need pi x we need the py padding like this, maybe. Yep, that looks better. What about if we uncollapse it that is too much padding? Um, right, how the hell do I do that properly? So if we do it like this, this looks fine, right? So this looks perfectly okay. Now if we do that, and I how do I do that? I guess nav MD flex MD item center, MD block, okay, is it MD thing? So like MD P top two something? No, no, so I guess not MD. Okay, this looks okay. If I close it, this looks bad. So where how the hell do I add it? I guess it's not MD, but rather small. Is it it's uh, SM part two? No, no. Okay. Um, you know what, maybe that's not I mean, okay, you know what, we can figure that out later. I don't feel like spending too much time on that right now. So we got the inputs. Um, we need what we need to actually run the query, right, uh, to get all the articles, search data, um, likely for us, the what do you call it, Gatsby has a use static query hook, that can run query for us, right. So all data query. And this is gonna be query. Uh, no, wait, GraphQL is what I want. And then we're gonna have this. 
And in this case, where is our pages? Yes, okay. So this actually, this gets us too much stuff. So I wanna adjust this one too, because um, yeah, in this case, if we run this query and we have all the articles, we're gonna get all the data, which is not something we want. So I'm gonna limit, um, yeah. I mean, I don't even need 10, I just need one. No, I, need, I don't need one, I need, mm, that's a tricky one. Limit, let's do limit 100, I guess, right? Because about like 100 links per episode is the most I would probably ever have. I try to keep it even below that. So I'm just gonna throw in limit 100 here. Maybe we should really spend some time to refactor the way data generated because I don't, not a fan of this query specifically, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe it's performant enough. Okay, and now if we take all of that stuff and uh, I guess we can just copy this query, right? So come here, there we go. Okay, we throw in the search to the query, all the links. We don't need a limit here and we do need a lot less fields, so we, do want URL, we don't want, we do want episode name, we don't want category, title, URLs. We don't care. I guess we do care about that stuff, right? So we don't care, yeah, ID is fine. There we go. So we want something like this. And uh, all data query is what we want. Now, in theory, if I do the whatever here and then do pre and do JSON stringify. That's the worst way to debug that, but you know what? Let's just roll with it. Null <laughs> two. Um, we should actually see that. So reload that, there we go. Yeah, so it pre-compiled it and uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we need to style that thing. Um, let me think. No, 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 that's not what I want. I wanted to dock it down, there we go. And now we can tweak this div to be, okay, let me think. So class, um, fixed, I guess, right? So this is gonna be fixed. We're gonna get it BG white. We're gonna get um, V one third. And then we're gonna get overflow it. Auto, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Let's get getting there. Okay, maybe fixed is not static. Static. Maybe absolute is enough. Yeah, I guess absolute would be the best here, right? Okay, cool. So we got this thing. It scrolls. This looks fine. Okay, yeah. So I can just copy this stuff and put it in the div wrapper. So we have a slightly nicer layout. Okay. Reload that, there we go. Uh, what is happening here, I guess? Oh yeah, right, I probably need to say top left, right? Because, uh, why? no wait, it shouldn't be the case. Why is it so displaced? Oh, because I applied it to the wrong div. Okay, of course. So this actually should be on the div without results, not on the overall uh, search bar, right? There we go. Okay, cool. So we got this. Um, now we need the fuzzy search library, so let's Go ahead and grab this fuzzy alone fuzzy search inside browser nodes. What do we have as well? Levin measure distance, Levenstein fuse. I remember there's like a bunch of them, but we're gonna try to find the one that is more or less maintained and you know more or less popular. So fuzzy, the fuzzy seems to be used a lot. Fast fuzzy. Um, okay, let's see. So we got this fuzzy thing, uh, which is the GitHub. And we got fuse thing, which is, there we go, the GitHub. So this one is uh, 652 stars, which doesn't really tell us much. Uh, it also has 64 commits. And the last one was in 2016. So obviously not maintained. This one, uh, last commit, August 30, which is relatively frequent, right? So like relatively fresh. Uh, 9K stars, that is a lot. <laughs> Fuzzy search, in, I wonder if, what, what would happen if we, like, man, as much as I would love GitHub to have proper search, I don't think it ever works properly. We got the fuse, we got the fuzzy sort. Uh, okay, fuzzy JS. Yeah, so it seems like the fuse thing is the fastest one or like the, the most maintained one, I guess. Is there, what is with regards to issues, labels, no bug is what I want. There is error node modules, 
there's some like unexpected characters, but you know, as long as it compiles, it should work. False positive matches when string pattern length more than 32, that should not be a problem for us. Yeah, so it seems like it's a decent candidate, so let's give it a shot. I um, guess I'm gonna use the fuse.js. So uh, let me just npm, M uh, no, sorry, yarn add fuse.js, and then how do we get started with it? Visit fuse.js io, right, so there we go. Options, fuse, so we want that. Um, Okay, fuse installed. So now we got the data. We're gonna, I guess, import fuse from fuse.js. Right, so this is our options. On fuse options, right? So should sort through threshold 0 0.6. Let's bump it up to 0 0.8, for example. Location, distance, max pattern length 32, min pattern char 1. So keys, with regards to keys, we want, okay, so we're gonna have an array that contains edges, nodes, state, well, we might wanna map it to, I just map it, here's the question. I you know what, it doesn't matter to be honest. Okay, so we got an edges thing. Wait a second, so what do we actually have uh, in terms of data here? Um, list is not defined. Oh, right, because I'm calling it, that should not happen. There we go. So, God, come on now, stop removing my unused imports. Right, okay, so we got all the links, edges, and edges is the array. All right, so we actually want to say all links, edges as search data, right? So this is exactly what we get. And if I reload this now, Edges of undefined. Uh, what am I doing wrong? All link, oh, that is a typo here. This is why it breaks. There we go. Okay, so now we get an array of nodes and IDs, which is uh, perfect. No, wait, do we? Yeah, I think we can just map it. Do I wanna map it? Do I wanna... No, you know what? I don't care about that. So we're fine with that. So, which means that we can now use the fuse constructor. Um, okay, so we say const fuse equals search data and fuse options. And we need to uncomment the fuse, which means that in our case, the fields is gonna be node data episode URL. No, not episode URL, URLs is what we want. And node data title, right? So we wanna search by title and we wanna search by URL. Okay, so we constructed that and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use memo here because we only care about constructing this once, right? So we don't really want to do this every time the component renders, which is just a waste of time and resources. So we're gonna do it once, we got the fuse and which means that now what we have to do is on change in our text box, we just gonna say handle search, right? And we're gonna create the new handle search function. Const hand, uh, handle search. Just gonna take events and then basically what it's gonna do. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to say, okay, const input is gonna be etarget value. And then we're just gonna apply fuse to it, right? So we also need some states to store the results. Uh, hey, Mehmatrix, welcome to the stream. You like the YouTube extension. Well, thank you, man. I, you know, I build it for myself because this is how I'm used to using the YouTube. And now that YouTube video deck is broken, I needed something to replace it. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, then it's great. Okay, so what, uh, what is the fuse thing? We need to do results, fuse search. So const results, fuse search input is what we wanna do, right? And now we need to say, okay, um, results set results, use state as empty array and let's call it found and then we can set results found, right? So this is literally all we need to do. And now instead of stringifying this, I'm gonna stringify results. And theoretically, we actually have our search working, so we just need some styling. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it's empty now. 
So let's see scene JS. Limer JS uh, Discord JS, those are I mean, do, do we did we even have a scene JS? So let's see I Oh, right, because I don't have all the episodes. What am I? I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, mediocre, for example, right? There we go. I mistyped it, but it still found the correct thing. So see GitHub, I don't know, lib. That seems to be working pretty well, to be honest. Okay, cool. So now we just need to render the entity. Uh, the, Render the entries in some nice manner. Uh, what do we need to do that? We need to actually just instead of doing this pre thing, we need to say the results map item two. So we're gonna do a div here and Right, so what do we need? I mean, I already had some sort of a layout on the old website, right? So I might as well just use that. This. So we had something like this, which makes perfect sense, I guess. So we got the category, got the title, and we got the episode. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's do this class name. So this is going to be flex. Then it's gonna be item edge. No, wait, what was it? Item nodes data. Um, Donna, thank you very much for your donation uh, and your continued support as usual. Highly appreciate it. Okay, so we got the data and now we need to get category, right? We get this and then we go it's nodes data title. And lastly, we go it's node data episode name, I guess, right? And we also would need to use the URLs to actually um, format it properly, basically. Okay, let's see how that looks. Seeing, yeah, okay, right now it looks terrible, because <laughs> but we're getting there. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of almost there. Let me think, maybe we can actually format it nicer than before. So let's see, there's the cards thing. Um, so maybe we can wait a second, tailwind, CSS, UI, there was the UI components thing we used at that tailwind CSS components, there we go. Cards, uh, am I blocking the Algolia again? Yes, I am. So card, responsive card, item cards, I need a very simple card that basically looks nice when we have like header, subheader, and stuff like this property card, simple card, quote card, stripe card. Yeah, just open all of that. That is too complex. That is, yeah, something like this, I guess. So we obviously can drop the image thing, but okay, this is one option. This is no, this is no, this is no, 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 that's. Uh, okay, this another kind No, not really. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I saw the example somewhere on the official website. Was it somewhere in the beginning in the docs? Remember, they had a similar like card thing. Let me think utility first was it somewhere here? There we go. This is basically what we want, right? So we just want three lines. So something like this, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got we don't care about the image, we just want this bit. And h4. Yeah, so we just need three lines of text. This is gonna be um, we don't even need flex for now. So this is gonna be text. This is gonna be actually it has to be no, we don't care about this part because it is gonna be category, but h4 should actually be title, right? So this should be the most important bit, which should be highlighted. And then it should, uh, we actually don't need to use H, we need to use Gatsby link to, okay, to its nodes data. No, wait, 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 I'm, we actually need to use href because this is the URL, okay. I'm confusing things now and it is gonna be URLs, right. So we got this. The next thing is the category, I guess. Right, so we do that. And I'm just gonna copy paste it and do the episode name. 
We're gonna see how that looks and then adjust it accordingly basically to fit. Okay, save this. Yes, obviously you don't like class, um, class name. There we go. What are you not happy about? Key prop. Oh, right, I forgot the key prop. Key is it node ID. There we go. Okay, see how that looks. Uh, we're getting there. So, right, so first of all, we need to somehow separate those things, which I guess we can actually take this, um, the box thing, right? So we can just do that. How would that look? And yeah, kinda getting there. So I guess we don't actually need the background here, right? There we go, that looks better. Now we don't need so much padding on, um, no, we don't need padding. Let me think, why is it so, is it padding or is it something else? So there's our thing, this is indeed, no wait, is it padding? No, it's not padding, it's margin, right? So max width, oh, I guess it's because of the max width. Okay, there we go. This is exactly what we want, MX auto. Yeah, so there we go, if we do that, there we go, we're getting there. So yeah, so now we need to, I guess, position that stuff correctly. Um, column, I think it was just column if I remember correctly. No, it wasn't. Uh, let me think. So flex, flex wrap, flex direction, flex direction is what we want. So, okay, flex minus call is what we wanna see. And right, there we go, okay. And I guess, yeah, you know what we could do? We could just do, we could wrap this thing. Let's name flex column, right? Yeah. And do it like this. I'm sorry, what? Could you please format that or did I screw up my, what am I missing? Oh, right, I, it should be closing div, there we go. Okay, so we got the episode on the right side now and yeah, that looks absolutely terrible. Flex, flex column. Okay, um, can we, how do I size it properly? So I guess I need to say that this is flex and flex Why? Uh, no, I guess, you know, I don't need flex one, right? I need it to, why is it so? Oh, right, okay, I know why is it so. Um, so I actually want this to be flex one. Okay, there we go. This is exactly what we want, flex column, and then the flex one. So it's gonna stretch to the size and leave enough space for the episode. This looks okay, I guess, right? So we can add, I guess we can decrease the size of the episode name. Let me think, text base, we actually want text small on there, right? Uh, text, 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 color, text font size, I was right. Uh, so we want text SM instead of text normal. And we want padding left like one so that we add some spacing between it, right? There we go. Looks nice. And then we want to actually, I wanna say flex align, align no, it's center items, was it center items? If I remember correctly. No, not center items, what was it? <laughs> um, wait a second, why already use item center is the other way around, okay. Items center, there we go, okay. We're getting there, items center the other way around, okay. And this has to be, I guess we need some sort of a separator between those, right? So. Uh, border, um, wait, wait a second, so we need, okay, you know what, for now, let's just focus on this thing. So again, text small over here, text gray 600, this is fine. So we need to actually turn this into a link. So instead of doing P, I would do A. So now this is gonna be, uh, and then, okay, now in this case, it's gonna be actually a link, the Gatsby link, right? Because we're gonna be linking to local episode. It notes data episode URL is what we want to link to. Now I imagine you want to import link from Gatsby, exactly. So theoretically, 
Cool. So this actually works. Um, right. So we got this uh, probably a good idea to actually slice the search results to show like the last 10, right? Because we don't really want to flush the screen with them. Okay, so this this does this is fine. This is fine. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Do, 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 do? Let me think. So this is the stuff. Yeah, let me just do BG black. Just gonna do the black background to see how exactly the separation works. Um, okay, let me think for a second. So we did that. We did that. I guess we could. If we take this and add some margin between them. Right, and now remove this black background. How would that look? That looks okay ish. Like the shadow is. Why is it only down? Shadow XL. What if we do shadow L? No, that's not the thing, right? I, was, I forgot what was the shadow thing. Box shadow, so there's XL LG. Okay. Right, this so we don't want there we go that looks nicer right so we got this search results if i close this we actually um yeah okay so we want we actually wanted this i uh, want to have this div this one to be this one no this one right we want it to be actually So this height is too, so we want it to be the size. Is that the size of a viewport? Kinda. Okay, but right. So we don't, we don't we want it to be the size of a viewport minus whatever is on top. So it is offset by hell if I know how many pixels. Let me think, how do we do that? Uh, to do overflow auto. Um, yeah, what's up, cat? What do you want? So I guess we could say that hate is like, wait a second, half. Hate, max hate, yeah, so hate. Oh, hate screen, hate auto. Yeah, I mean, we could use probably RAM height, right? Um, like H8 or something. Let's see. H8. Uh, that is. Why is it so small? Wait a second. 2 RAM. I guess 2 RAM is too little, right? So it's got to be like 64. That'd be good. That is still tiny as hell. <laughs> Okay, so we need it to be something uh, something bigger. PX auto. Okay, um, uh, each screen maybe. I mean, okay, let's try it. So screen is gonna be like it's still gonna be overflowing down below, right? I actually want it to be each screen minus what's the size of the header? Header is seventy pixels. So we want this thing. Hey, to be calc of hundred minus uh, seventy px, right? Still too much. Eighty. Wait, did I? Oh, I'm using the width, right? Okay, there we go. This is what we want to have. Obviously, the horizontal scroll will go away once we kill the JSON down below, which I probably should already do. Uh, right. We don't need that stuff here anymore, and. Okay, now, yeah, so now we don't have vertical scroll. This looks okay. Uh, this links will open where we want it to. Articles and news. This, I mean, this looks decent, right? So we just need to um, do this, do this thing with the height. So go to the styles, define our custom. Don't you want to push it down like 30 pixels? Um, yeah, I guess that would make sense as well. So let's see. Oh, um, <laughs> let me think. So like padding, no, margin top is what we want, right? 30px, that is, okay. Now it looks blended with the background essentially, which is not too nice, but we can tweak that later. So, okay, uh, let's create a class 
call it um, search results, right? And it's gonna be this stuff. And meanwhile, we can just uh, take all of that and use apply to do this. And I guess you want this escaped, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. So now we need to tweak the boxes a bit because the back but white on white doesn't look that good. But the cool thing is we can just take uh, one of the colors. No, that's not not not. Uh, what was it? Was it here? Was the color schemes? There we go. We can take it like gray hundred. Um, this is our picking up gray hundred, so it should be a bit darker. What failed to compile? What are you talking about? And uh, no, this is not. It didn't change it. Okay, so why it didn't change it? Am I screwing up? Okay, there's some error. So let's have a look at the console. Did I screw up something? Apply. Uh, okay, apply. It doesn't know apply. Why it doesn't know apply? Did I mess up the oh, utility first? What was the directive that they had in uh, post CSS for the tailwind? It is apply. Okay, so why don't you? Is it because I put the backslash in there? You wanted this? No, you don't know apply. What? Wait. It's, it's supposed to be post CSS, right? Supply used with the, the because the, uh, Oh, okay, so it cannot find this thing. Why this should be is there a different error now? Apply cannot be used with uh, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it is CSS, but we're using post CSS because the tailwind CSS is post CSS based. So it uses the apply directive is just for some reason doesn't want to use this. Why it doesn't uh, post CSS is not quite like a CSS. I mean, it, well, basically it's enhancements to CSS itself. So it's like you can add direct custom directives to it. The question is why doesn't it like my um, with one third with an eight? Yeah, I mean, this is exactly what I'm trying to do. So why doesn't it apply it correctly? Uh, fraction, how the hell? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see. Tailwind. I mean, okay. I don't, I actually don't need those things anymore because we already solved this. Maybe I'll need the fuse for now. So, tailwind CSS at apply fraction is what I'm interested in because this is exactly the error we get, right? So, blah, blah, blah. Introduction to tailwind CSS. Um, for how the hell do I apply fractions? Is there like even okay, those guys don't even go through the application stuff. Calc screen one third. Can I here's the question. Can I just go like, can I just escape this as a string Did that work? You know, okay, this right uh, cannot be found. So it seems like it does escape it itself. So why is there so many backslashes when we do this? Compiled, yeah, okay. Um, no, you have not compiled anything. So what don't you like about that? So it escaped both of them, which yeah, which obviously doesn't exist. Which I mean, this should work then, right? Doesn't seem like it. No, okay, there we go. Oh, it actually compiled successfully. So why did it complain the first time? It was working all along, and I'm just okay. Fine, you know what? Fine. Um, the, so like, yeah, scene or whatever. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, so now we got some search results. Um, I guess we could. Yeah. So since we increased the since we added the padding to the to margin to the top, we need to add 30 pixels here as well. So I guess maybe 20 pixels. This is probably is that look? Um, come on. 
yeah yeah that looks fine so we got this working we got the episodes we got the nice cards you can click on episode if you want to you can search then you can open the article i should probably make them target blank <laughs> okay um da -da -da, a href targets blank and then you want rel um what is it no opener no refer is what we want okay so in theory if we now search for stuff this should open in a new window perfect and yeah i guess this looks fine right okay so we got this we got the episode yeah so search basically works now here's the question so what i'm interested in um is will it work with a full data set because right now we only have three episodes loaded right so let's try load everything and see how exactly it uh, behaves let me just commit that heisenbug yeah that's definitely i mean it's just mostly my idiocy to be honest it's just haven't noticed that it's actually compiled properly first time but the oh boy okay uh, implement basic fuzzy search okay and commit and now we are gonna try to build the whole thing with um with a full data source as i said right so i think we limit yeah so there's the limit we are just gonna kill that why are you complaining about this stuff here what is this uh function declared in a loop contains insane reference um uh, why i did, what function there's no function what are you talking about this is totally fine oh, man some of the yes lint rules are just silly as hell oh fuck yes yes you know what i'm just gonna disable your ass um yes lint so uh, off is that uh no wait how was it was it like this there we go okay much better okay uh so i disabled the limits so now i'm gonna wipe the cache and we're gonna start it it will take some time because it fetches the episodes information from the github which means it's gonna need you know a few minutes to or i mean not minutes hopefully a few seconds uh to pre-process it so we got the same errors that we had before which is totally fine uh those are expected so once it finishes we should actually have a website with all episodes with search among them that is hopefully fast enough we're like we're gonna see in a second and uh yeah there we go okay it's all compiled so that's a good sign come on now okay cool so it started so now if we go to the home page should see episode 80 something what was it 84 um hello windows and can you please start so I, had, I found another bug with um, my, my current setup with uh, Hyper VM, which sometimes breaks the network for me. I'm not sure how that works, but uh, yeah. Uh, why do you have on your, what do you, uh, who do you have? I mean, I usually just sit and talk about JavaScript news. I don't really have, or, you know, I haven't really invited anyone because that is, I, I'm just very antisocial person actually. <laughs> so I just usually sit and talk about the latest JavaScript news. Okay, so we got our latest episode from the last week. We got all the news here. So this seems to be perfectly fine. I chat well, but that doesn't mean I am social. <laughs> okay, so we got the episodes list. Uh, we probably want to add the dates here. That will be nice, I think. Okay, this works. This works. Let's see how fast is the search. That's actually relatively good. Like, okay. Uh, yeah okay this is not what i want <laughs> okay so we gotta update this search component Ta -da -da, let me think search there we go okay so right now i guess the min char length to two is what we want to set right so hooks kill that no that still works okay so i guess let's do it manually then um one so if input that no 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 if input length equals zero we just return and then we do set results to an empty arrays basically we want so just to reset it right 
Reload that. Um, let's see. Hooks. This works. And this works. Okay, cool. So now it behaves as expected. Let's let's do a bit of performance um, tuning. So basically, I want to just profile this and see how fast and how long does it actually takes to do that. Okay. So this is our profiling. Why is it so freaking big? Right. So ugh, come on, flame graph. I guess I'll just pop you out um, over here, please. Okay, let's see. So what is task key press call? So yeah, it seems like it takes what is it 100 milliseconds? Hey, that's not terrible. And seems like the longest thing react change. So where is our function call actually? So it seems like the longest is it the react updates really? Wait, 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 wait. Key press text input event press run with priority dispatch event handle. Like, okay, you know what? I it feels snappy enough, I guess. Like, where's the actual search happens? Because those are react things, right? So this is the react doing stuff. All back handle value, value, value. And there, there we go. There's our so okay, 120 milliseconds. It's not terrible. Um, search like we don't really need to debounce or cancel it right because it's all client side like this literally happens in the browser the only problem is that as the data set grows this might not be viable but once it when, when it becomes like super slow we can just move it to the worker thread which would make it a lot nicer yeah i mean we had we had the the current website actually has this search that is server bounds and we have like the you know the fancy debouncing and throttling and canceling and everything but honestly client side seems to work just as fine uh right okay let me see what, what am i there we go all right i also need to update the icon here this is something i haven't done but yeah okay so search seems to be working okay um you don't have enough results to need. Yes, I mean, this is exactly the point. The data set is just not big enough to warrant the server. So you can just statically do that stuff. Yep, yep, exactly. That's, that's my line of thinking as well. So, you know, it's like we're not big enough to warrant um, full on server with search and whatever. And once we do that, I could just probably go for something like Algolia and offload the search for that. <laughs> Okay, uh, what, did, what did I actually do here? I write, so you know what? I'm gonna stage source. I'm not gonna commit yet the episode limit removal. Um, git commit, okay, clear search when uh, input is empty is what I wanna do. Right, so performance wise, it seems okay. I also would need to test it on mobile, but you know, that's a different question. We are gonna get to that. Uh, right, I think I'm just gonna update the icon and we can basically wrap it up here for today. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask now while I update the icon. We, we, we did have it somewhere, right? There, there we go, we did have the icon um view raw so i think it was like this is tiny <laughs> okay we can do better than that um let me think i had where did i have the icon images there we go yeah there we go the tailwind dog illustration so i don't actually need any of those right so i can <laughs> i probably need to clean up this project a bit more okay let me think source images Right, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need this. And now that we are talking about that, so this one is 32 by 32. Okay, yeah, we can, we can, we can have, I guess, I mean, I guess I can just copy my, uh, right, I cannot copy it from here. I actually would need to, can I just copy, can I drag and drop stuff from Total Commander is the question. Um, so I think the, wait, wait, there's BXGS logo, right? So can I just do this? I can. Okay. This is even more impressive. So just to remind you this, the VS code I am running right now is actually running over SSH to my Hyper-V virtual machine with Ubuntu. 
The fact that I can drag and drop stuff is um, a bit mind blowing, to be honest. Okay, we got this thing, um, BXGS logo. So I guess I'll just change. So we can kill this, delete permanently. Yes, please go here, stop this. And now we need to update it in, let me think, config. Um, okay, I don't need that. <clears throat> I don't need that yet. I think it was here, right? Uh, tailwind, there we go. This is exactly what we want to say. Options name. Yeah, so we can tweak the names later. That is totally fine. Cool. Um, yarn start. And I think we now should have the proper icon. Okay, yeah, this is it going to hit the cache or is it going to recompile the whole source again? Yeah, do we recompile the whole source again? I mean, it's fine for us. Probably should add client side or like the, the plugin caching because right now we grab the um, the episodes from the API every time, which is not exactly efficient for development purposes. I mean, I guess it's nice for the testing, you know, for the CI basically, because it's always going to be consistent and fresh. But in terms of development, we got to come up with something. Can't resolve abduction illustration. Wait, where did I actually use it? Oh, 404. Oh, God. Okay. So I killed the illustration that was actually used. <laughs> God damn it. Right. So we need abduction illustration. Okay. Um, let's try that again. Hopefully this time around everything is in place and then we are basically done. Do you code professionally as well? Yes, uh, I my main job is the uh, senior uh, researcher in computer science and semantic web, machine learning, AI and all that stuff. So uh, this is close to what I do on a daily basis. Um, a bit more R&D stuff than this, but yeah. There we go, there's our icon. This looks pretty nice. So we got the episodes working. Um, wait a second. So, okay. So it doesn't sort the, uh, sections correctly. Uh, I am in Germany right now. So European union, U S is terrifying to be honest, but, um, yeah, <laughs> at, at least as of lately, actually. So let me just clarify that. <laughs> so we need to sort the sections. It seems to be there randomly showing up. I guess we have to create some sort of a section, uh, section index or whatever. Okay, let me let me just commit what we did now. It commits update the fav icon remove unused graphics. Right. Okay. Um, work for some people from Stuttgart. Oh yeah, yeah. They they do have some pretty cool universities there. Um, I think we collaborated in more than one project actually. Uh, they do have a pretty large uh, semantic web group there. Okay, what I was saying, I was saying that we need to sort those are uh, the, the sections correctly. Um, how do we do that? I guess one way to do that would be to just to define the array of that and go through it manually instead of just, you know, relying on what we get back, right? So, right, so we got the groups, the groups field value. Let me think. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, const groups list. I guess I'll just do it this way, right? So we got this groups list array, and then I'm just gonna go xjs. Can I? Man, I don't. You know what? I don't want to. Like on one hand, I want to automate as much as possible, but on the other hand, I don't want to overthink it. I'm just gonna go to weekly page and grab the last episode and just uh, grab the groups from here. So we're gonna get the getting started first. We're gonna get articles and news second. We're gonna have tips, tricks and bit sized awesomeness third. And then we're gonna get releases. And after that, we're gonna get leaves and demos. And after that, we're gonna get interesting and silly stuff. But we also have to consider that we might have more than that uh, in case I add them. So what we need to do is we need to say, okay, so this stuff, map, group name, um, <laughs> let me think. So we take the group name and then we just basically render this section. But instead of doing that, 
So it's going to be group name over here, group name over here, but this is going to be groups from group name, I guess. I mean, I don't really have any additional sections if I remember correctly. So I think we're still we're still running, right? So if I refresh that theoretically, we should eh, something is broken. L groups Oh, oh, okay, interesting. So wait a second console log groups list. What am I doing wrong? Uh, hey, Donna, thank you for dropping by. Have a good night. Okay, so what did I screw up? We just need to fix that. And then we're basically good. Uh, where is my data? There we go. So we got Yeah, this is our thing. Oh, right, because I'm not this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm supposed to be saying find a group, right? So that gg field value is equal our group name, of course, there we go. This is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, there we go. Now it works. And now we got getting started articles and news tips and tricks releases. Cool, this actually works. Will that work with the first episode It one it will break, right? Yep, it will break. Okay, which means that we need to filter that group name so that um, it actually can find some data for it, right? There we go. This works. And if we go to the latest, yeah, perfect. Cool. So we basically are done with this bit. Okay. Stand, get commits, order um, episode categories according to our template, I guess. Let's just call it this way. Cool. Um, right. That's basically it. So once again, if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to throw them into the chat right now. If not, we can just wrap it up here. As usual, if you missed this stream, the VOD will be available immediately on YouTube, uh, sorry, immediately on Twitch or after a few hours on YouTube. But yeah, we are we're nearly there. Like this is coming out a lot nicer than the previous website. And uh, just yeah, just a few minor react hooks. Yeah, okay, search could be a bit faster. That does feel a bit choppy, especially when you type real fast. Yeah, we do need to do something about the search because it does feel a bit choppy. So we basically have to update the search, I guess using the web worker would probably be good enough for us. And uh, then we just need to add the social links we had and we're basically done, we can set up the continuous deployment next time we do the stream likely unless we spend too much time fighting with the search. But uh, there we go. Right, uh, does seem like there's any more questions or suggestions. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I see you next time. Bye.